So shall we quickly revise what we learned in simple present tense? Then I'll move to the next topic. Okay. So I think you know that very well. By this time, you know everything clearly. So Ethan, can you tell me the form of making simple present tense? How to make a sentence in simple present tense? What is the rule? Subject plus. That's what I asked. Subject plus. Hmm. Subject. Subject plus verb. Verb. Verb in which form? Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Boy. Is it the first form or base form? What do we say? S. V one. V one. Plus S or E S. You should keep that in your mind always. Okay. So how to form a sentence in simple present tense? Subject plus. V one plus S O R E S, and when do we add this S O R E S? In which which case we add this S O R E S with the verb? Tell me. How many of you remember that? Ab habitual action. No, no, no. That is a rule. That is a area where we add a, where we use simple present tense. I am asking where we will add S O R E S with the verb. In which situation we have to add S O R E S with the verb? When the subject becomes singular, singular, singular. Yes. singular. When the subject becomes singular, we have singular. to add yes. s or e s. Yes. Okay. Remember that always. Then, if uh, if it is plural, do we have to add s or e s? No. 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 So I think some of you have forgotten what we discussed. So what do you have to do? I shared the notes of simple present tense. All the rules are written there clearly. Please read. Okay, you have to read the notes before you do that exercise. And there are five questions also as homework. Please complete all the notes in your grammar notebook. Shall we move to the next? Are you ready? Yes. Yes. So we are yes. going to learn a new topic today. Intenses. Wait. Someone is making a noise. Please mute everyone. Mute. Please mute. If you are uh, so much fond of drum, please go and do that. Don't sit for the class. Okay. Change the background. Okay. So we learn simple present tense, and can anyone tell me in the list of present tense, the forms of present tense, which is the second kind? We started with simple present tense. So, what will be next? Remember the four kinds of tenses in each. Simple past tense. Uh, no, no. I am asking only in present. See, remember, simple. try to remember all the four simple. tenses. Present simple future. Uh. No, no, no. Simple, simple present tense. Perfect. Present continuous. Present perfect. Present perfect continuous. So the second one is tell me. You have to tell me now. Continuous. Present. Perfect. Uh. Present continuous. Present. Okay. Present perfect. Present. One. Present. Okay. present. One, one, one. Continuous. This is what we are going to learn today. Present continuous. Continuous. Tense. Okay. It's very easy. Just see that. We first we will learn. How to make, yeah. how to form a sentence in simple present, uh, sorry, present continuous tense. Just nod it down. If you have a rough book, you can nod it down. As usual, first we should write the subject. We should start with the subject. Then, am, is, or are, plus, verb, Plus ing form verbs ing form. I'm writing the rough book. Yeah, you can just note it down in the rough book. 
and I'll give you an example. If I make I as the subject, now you tell me, we learned the helping verbs in grammar this year. The use of helping verbs, we learned very clearly. So can anyone tell me what subject, what will be the helping verb which can be matched with I? From this, here am is there, is is there, are is there. Am. Very good. I am reading a book. I am reading a book. Okay? Then if the subject becomes he, tell me. He is reading a book. He is reading. It's very easy. He is reading a book. If it becomes we, we are reading a reading book. We are reading a book. Now, by by reading the sentence which is written here, you can tell me where do we use this present continuous tense? In which cases we use present continuous tense? Can anyone tell me that? Can anyone tell me in what kind of situation we use present continuous tense? We use ing. Somebody is helping someone. Okay. Any idea? I am reading a book now. Or he is reading a book now. I gave the clue. Can anyone tell me? Going on now. Yeah, the actions which are going on now. Very good. For an action happening at the time of speaking. Isn't it? The actions which are happening at the time of speaking, we use present continuous tense. And always you can see ing form of the verb in the continuous forms. Reading, writing, sleeping, eating. Okay. So... We use present continuous tense to say about an action going on at the time of speaking. That is the rule. Now, are you writing this? I'm going to rub this. I'll share the notes in the evening. Mama, I'm finished. No need to Mama, write. I'm finished. No need, no need. Just to remember, if I tell you to write, all will write and all won't finish at the same time. So we'll not be able to finish the class in time. So just to remember a few things. Just We discuss only two things. What is the first thing I discuss? The form of making a present continuous tense. What is the form? You are remembering that now. Delna, can you tell me the format of making a sentence in present continuous? Subject plus, that thing I asked. Subject plus. Mm. Am, am, mm. is R mm. plus V plus mm. I and V. What is this V, Delna? V, v means? Verb. Verb. Okay. Then? Subject plus am. Okay. Now, who is going to tell me where do we use present continuous tense? In which case we use present continuous tense? Nora, can you say that? Doing Which situation we have to use present continuous tense? Something's going on. Yeah, the actions which are going on now, isn't it? At the time of speaking. Very good. Now we will solve a few yeah. examples in which you have to use the present continuous tense form of the verb. You can just write the answers. There is no need to write the question. You'll not mm -hmm. finish. Uh, just write. Using present continuous, I'll use the short form. There should be a right. No, uh, just write the answers. No need to copy down the questions because the questions will be shared as notes. First one. He is has. Come on, did 
Mommy, you want to write this? Uh, just write the answers. The second one, I did not understand. Rima and her friends are dash a function. In the bracket, the verb given is attend. So which form of the verb should be used? You have to use the present continuous tense form of the verb given. Okay. Is it clear now? Just five questions. Try to finish fast. Finished? Shall we discuss the answers along with this? No, 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 Okay, Krishnesh, can you read the first one? Ma'am, I did not finish. You didn't finish, okay. Yes, Who first finished? One, first one, I know. Shabri? Ma'am, I finished. Shabri, read the first one. Ma'am, finish. Ma'am, finish. Okay, okay. Finish. Okay. That's a car. Drives. Huh. I can't hear you, Shabri. Say clearly. He is the car. Okay. So what is the verb here? Tell me the verb. Drives. Yeah, that is the... You didn't listen, my dear. We are using present continuous tense form of the verb. We finished simple present tense. You are still in simple present tense. Don't get confused with both. Ding. I say the answer. Shabri, wait, wait. Let me clear Shabri. Shabri, just listen. What is the format of making a sentence in simple, uh, sorry, present continuous tense? Hmm. Subject plus am, is, are plus no. verbs, ah. ing form. Okay. So you have to use the ing form of the verb when you driving. see this present continuous. He is driving a car. Yeah, he that's what. Driving a car. Uh, you have to be very careful. She is driving a car. Driving. Spelling. There is no e in ing. That has to be careful. You have to be careful. Ben. Rima and her friends are dash a function. Attend. Antonio can Attend. Attend is given in the bracket. Antonio can Yeah, Antonio. Ma'am. 
attending 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 very good ing form should be used because it's present continuous dash teacher Mivel, can you say, say the third question? The teacher is teaching. Uh. Teaching grammar. Uh. Teaching. 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 Okay, good. Sorry, I just sitting near the window. Mm. That's also very easy. It's very easy just to use ing form. Teaching. Aisha, Aisha, can you hear me, Aisha? Sorry, I'm sitting here. Aisha, Algan, Shabri, Faris, Anamika. Don't know why you have turned off uh, the video. Many of you. Who is this? Can I tell? Bindu. Ridu, can I? Uh, Ridu, fourth just one. say that uh, fourth one then. Bindu, I'll give you the fifth. Uh. Surya is mm. sitting near window. Okay, so then, Aridu, can you tell the spelling of sitting? Hmm? Can you tell the spelling of sitting? S -S -S -I -S -I -T. Spelling? Ma'am, can I? How many T? S I T. Okay. You have to be careful in that case. Uh, okay, Binu, say that. They are playing in the ground. They are playing in the L A Y I N G. Just add I N G. Only thing you have to use I N G in present continuous. It's very easy. Yeah. Okay. And um, my dear children, don't get confused with uh, simple present tense and present continuous. Do you have any confusion? No, I think. No. 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 If you listen properly, no. there is no. no confusion. In simple present tense, you know the form. Subject plus V1. There is no ING over there. But in present continuous, subject plus am or is or are plus ING should be used. Okay. Listen. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Present. When you see the question for present continuous, immediately you have to think that it's ing. You have to use ing. But if you see simple present tense, they are the v1 only. Only the v1. v1 means without ing or ed. In sub singular cases, you have to add s or es. S -O. Only these two things you have to keep in mind. You will not get it wrong. Shall we do a small test? Yes, ma'am. Hmm? Uh, let me see how many of you got that. Only three questions. Just try. One second. Ma'am? Mm -hmm. See the chat? Have you got the link? Just three questions. Immediately you can finish. Ma'am, finish. finished. Okay. Ma'am, can you send link in the WhatsApp? Why? You just send me a message. Then I can share that link. Okay. Those who want the link in all. Okay. Ma'am, I got three out of three. Okay. It's very easy. Okay, most of you got. Very good.
Ma'am, I got three out of three. Good. Mama, you also get three out of three. <laughs> Many of you got it's because it's very easy. There is no confusion. But only thing you have to take care when you fill Mine, three out of three. Ah, uh, when you fill this manually. Now it is there in the Google form. The spellings are also there. But next, uh, when you do it as worksheet or uh, written. You have to be very Even careful with the spelling. You have to be very careful with the spelling. So there you can lose mark. So for that, when I share the notes of present yeah. continuous tense, listen, my dear children, listen. Let me complete. When I share the notes of present continuous tense, I'll also share some rules to uh, form that ing. Okay. Yes, sir. That. We'll discuss that also in the next class. And when you read books, you can see the spellings of ing. You know the uh, you know uh, to add ing to the verb is very easy, but spellings have to be careful. You have to be very careful with the spelling. Okay, so I'll share some notes for that. And next class we'll do we'll do more exercise on that. Okay. Ethan, what are you doing? So shall I stop? Have you all completed? No. What I can do the test, ma'am? What happened? He's not signing. You cannot sign in. Who is this? Ridu. Ridu. Ridu, you send a message to me. I can share the link later. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. And next class also you take. Ah. Okay then. Bye. Bye, thank you, ma'am. Bye, thank you, ma'am.